Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 1995 BMW 850 CSI. Now this has 1,437 horsepower, 1,050 pounds-feet of torque from a 6.6 litre twin turbocharged V12 engine. The car itself now weighs 3,681 pounds, has all-wheel drive and it can now do 0 to 60 in 2.524 seconds and 0 to 104.841 seconds so yeah this is obviously quite a heavy luxury coupe it's not the newest car we've ever had on the series either in fact it's the oldest BMW that we've had on this series so far I believe and yeah but it does have a hell of a lot of power it's quite aerodynamic even with the uh, pop-up headlights and uh, yeah the oil drive system will help keep the power in check and it will also help with all of this rain that we're currently having as well so uh, yeah I'm hoping this will be pretty quick but yeah, if it's quicker than the M3 from the previous episode, I'd be surprised, given that's a far newer car. And, uh, yeah, it had a pretty decent amount of power as well, although not quite as much as this. So, uh, yeah, nonetheless, let's get out there and see what this car can do. Certainly sounds a lot different to the standard uh, engine in this car, which was hardly small. Uh, but, yeah, comfortably uh, uh, past its original top speed. There's 200. So this in the previous game managed 271 miles an hour, so hopefully we'll be able to go even quicker than that. And uh, there's 240. I've made some additions to the bodywork just to improve the aerodynamics. And there's 270. There's 271, there's 272, so we're, we're already beating the uh, top speed of this car in the previous game. So let's see if we can improve upon that even further. You've arrived at your destination. There we go, we've regained it after losing some speed. Right, so we're coming to the downhill section now where we will gain speed, but it's about whether or not we'll uh, hold it after the fat. At the end of the day, gravity is not our engine, but it does help you on the downhill sections. So that's 276, back down to 275, 274, 273. Come on, at least hold 273. Yep, it's holding it. It's holding it. Yep, that, I'm going to call that 273. So, uh, yeah, that is uh, two mile an hour quicker than what we were in the previous game. And, uh, yeah, still pretty sharpish in this game as well. Obviously, it's not the fastest build that we've had as the M3 and the M4 were both quicker than this by 4 miles an hour but they're far more newer cars so uh, yeah, I'm no real surprise that they have the aerodynamics and the ability to handle the extra acceleration and speed a lot better than this but still, that means we are as quick as the likes of a Lexus LC500, a TVR Cerberus B12 a Maserati MC12 Versione Corsa and um, we are quicker than a Jaguar XJ220 S TWR and a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, as well as a bunch of the Formula Drift vehicles. But we are slightly slower than a Zenvo TSRS, a Ferrari, and a Ferrari F8 Tributo, which were more, one mile an hour quicker than we were. And like I said, the M3 and the M4, also from BMW, were four miles an hour quicker than we were. So, uh, yeah, but on the whole, still an impressive car, and the fact that something as old as this is able to handle the extra speed and power. Yes, it's obviously had upgrades, but at the end of the day, it still does weigh quite a lot, so you'd expect that weight to come you know, against you, but on the whole it managed it all right. So, uh, yeah, and the acceleration was pretty sharpish as well. So, on the whole, an impressive car, and I'm glad this is done as well as it has because it's easily one of my favourite 90s cars. And, uh, yeah, you can get this car by getting 80 points in the current series overall. Now, that does mean you'll have to do a fair bit in a couple of the uh, seasons. Uh, it took me a... Uh, most of the first season and about half of the second season to get this car but you've still got plenty of time to get those 80 points even if you've only just started now so uh, yeah but get out there and get it it's a fantastic car easily one of BMW's more weird outputs but still uh, a really really good one regardless nonetheless so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye